Hey everybody, this is Tommy Mueller and I'm going to show you a little bit about generative design and how I come up with these 3D printed lattice sculptures here on GrabCAD. And I've had some pretty interesting results so I want to share the information with you and hopefully get you going on your own projects. I'm using Entopology's Element software. It's completely free. You fill out this form and they get back to you with a download link and they actually got back to me in two hours so I was using it really quickly. And I'll do a quick example in Moto, a polygon modeler, where I can take this mushroom, uh, export it as an STL, and use it for an element. But first I'll use SolidWorks and show you a simple solid body and the topology we can make from an STL to create our lattice. So we'll do a, a save as and choose STL and click the options box here and you want to change your resolution to coarse and this makes a better lattice uh, structure the fine seems to get it a little bit too tightly woven so this will give us our best results so go ahead and save that STL and right there you can actually see a pretty good representation of what element could convert into a lattice all the triangles and vertices so save that then launch element and we'll import our STL we just made and it'll convert it into a mesh item and we get some functions up at the top and I'm just going to show you the first and fourth functions so uh, we'll click generate lattice and we'll select this mesh item that I imported and then you choose a rule uh, there's three surface rules and five volumetric rules and the volumetric rules are going to fill up this item on the inside um, but for this one I'm probably going to use the surface one and I'll, I'll use vertex centroid and you click generate and that's a pretty cool pattern it's got a, a swirl into it and I can work with it so I like it so click save and I'm going to go ahead and stick with their naming convention and if you toggle this light bulb right here you can uh, isolate and just look at your lattice right there because that's what we're going to use to thicken right now so click thicken lattice and choose that newly created lattice and you'll get some options here but I, I found out the default options kind of work the best especially to start so it was pretty quick and you know that's something I can actually work with right here so you could do some other refinement right here uh, if you choose to and you can play with these functions they will change your build times but from right here I'm kinda happy with the results so I'm gonna move on and I'll again stick with the same naming convention that works for me I'm gonna alter the names when I get it into Moto and start rendering so right here once again toggle that light bulb and it, it, you could just view your lattice you just see everything that it's made up of. You can see there's there's probably like two million triangles on it. So you can take something like a mesh lab and, and decimate those polys so you can get it down a little bit smaller. But it works for me just the way it is. And you can, uh, with it selected right here, go ahead and choose export mesh. And I'm going to save it as an object file so I can import it and do some rendering either in Keyshot or Moto and you know you can also save it as a STL out of here if you wanted to but I got what I need and right now we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at Moto where I actually have uh, a quick scene already in place and I have a fixture and a light bulb and we can import that newly created object file and I found out that the units that you import and export out of element uh, kinda have a drastic change on the scale of your item so for me I've been taking the mesh item and needing to scale it down by 0.1 and there it is and I actually have it in place over here 
after a little bit of manipulation you just go ahead and scale it up rotate it and put it where you want it and that could be your lampshade very cool and with the rendering you know all the light is going to pour through those holes so it makes it very dy uh, dynamic so uh, with a mushroom just the same way we're going to export this as an STL and once again with element I'll go ahead and import that STL and there's a mushroom has a little bit of a different pattern coming from a polygon modeler over uh, the SOLIDWORKS software but going through the same process uh, generate the lattice choose it pick a rule I'm gonna I'll choose one of the volume ones this time and I'll likely bring down the scale quite a lot more than half and I'll click generate now just fill the inside of that mushroom with uh, this hex uh, structure and then you can click step to make it protrude a little bit outside that structure make sure you get full coverage and then you can actually click trim and it'll clean all that up and I kind of like it just like that so we'll go ahead and save it and again if you hide with a light bulb you can just look at your lattice sculpture and if you choose to you could take that and further it and clean it up I believe you can remove the open beams right here so you can get all the little legs off of there and that did a pretty good job I like that so I'll go ahead and save that and once again thicken the lattice and I'll stick with the same default values and there it is